Today I'm doing a different video than my normal gaming videos. Since Twitch made it to where content creators can now simulcast on all platforms, I've been struggling to find a good way to combine chat from all of those platforms to run as either an overlay on the stream with no limitations or one that I can read all of the chat at one time myself. With that being said, I do stream on Twitch, Kick, and YouTube three to five days a week. All the links can be found in the description below. And sometimes it makes it difficult on chat, really difficult on chat, when I'm talking to one platform and not the other, and they have no idea what I'm talking about and they feel left out. So I've been hunting for a solution. Plus just, I've tried all kinds of options. I've tried Restream, but it only allows you to do two stream chat combos at one time unless you want to pay extra money. While others, they rely on extensions in your Google Chrome or your Opera, then you have to change and the, the link and keep changing it over and over again. And that didn't seem like a viable solution either. And you couldn't really adjust how it looked. And then still others, they ask you to download a program that oftentimes fails or doesn't do everything you ask or that it says it does in the description. But today I have finally found our solution. And that solution is none other than Botrix. I first heard of Botrix when I started streaming on Kick, as it was one of the few bots that actually worked with it. It allowed me to do not only Kick alerts and commands, but a lot more, along with it allowing to broadcast on my Discord when I went live on Kick. I saw there were other platform options in there, but I didn't really use them because I use other bots like StreamerBot or Mixed Up from my YouTube and Twitch. And to me, those are just really some of the best bots out there if you want a really versatile and different stream. With that being said, the setup is quick, easy, and rather painless. So here's how you set it up. So to start out with, you go to botrix.live and you can sign in with your Discord, Twitch, or YouTube. I have mine set up through my Discord because that's what originally had to set up is so that it'll tell everybody when I am live on Kick on Discord. So what you do is you go in and then you go to your profile. And in your profile, you can set up any of the platforms that you stream on. I stream on Twitch, YouTube, and Kick, like I said before. But if you streamed on Trovo or TikTok or LiveSpace, whatever LiveSpace is, sorry, I don't know what that is. You go ahead and you enter your credentials here. Then you can go in and what I suggest if you use other bots is to go into each individual platform and turn the chat bot off so you're not getting level ups and all that other different kinds of stuff. But let's go back. If you go into either your Twitch, YouTube, or Kick settings, for this we'll go into our YouTube settings just for, for, for shits and giggles. And then we're gonna go over here to widgets. Now, under widgets, you can see all of these different widgets for what you can use on stream. And if you've used Streamlabs, you know what a widget is, you know how to use them. It's very simple, you just plug and play. So for this, we're gonna go over to chat. And what this allows you to do is you can choose which platforms you want to pull chat from. So in this instance, we're pulling it from Twitch, YouTube, and Kick. And as you can see below on this screen right now, I have the chat for YouTube, for Twitch, and Kick on the screen. The only reason you don't see YouTube on the screen right now is, is because I'm not streaming on YouTube, so there is no chat instance made. So you can go in here, you can choose which platform you want to. So you can hide messages, better TV, TV emoticons. You can hide old messages. You can hide commands. You can show platform. You can set up a timer, how long the messages stay up there. And you get quite a few free options that you get uh, seven different options here. So you could have a different option for each different screen. So for instance, as you see on this screen right now, below, I have a little sports ticker type deal, which would be your streamline. Then in here, you can adjust anything on here that you want to adjust. You can adjust the size. You can, like I said, adjust the other settings to it. And then all you gotta do is cut and paste it into your stream as a browser source. Once you paste in your stream as your browser source, I recommend doing it the full size of your screen and then adjusting it from there. And as you can see, I went into OBS. I went and I made a browser source down here. I labeled it chat and I just put in the URL. And then I made the size, the exact size of my screen. And then I can adjust it down however I wanna do it. But the cool thing, like I said before about this is, you can use it on multiple different scenes with a different look and feel to it. For instance, here's my full camera view. And you can see I have the, sorry, I don't know which way to point. I, you can see I have the chat right here. And as you add to it, it's a totally different layout. Wow, so cool. And see it pops up right down there and the adjustments you make are on there. So if I go in, I wanna change the color. Or I wanna change, I don't want badges on this one. I want this, I want that. You can go ahead and do it. And they have a bunch of different models for you to do that as. In the instance on that page, you saw the one bubbles. Now again, you can continue to change this and mold this to however you want it. Let me show you how I did on my retro scene. So over here on my retro scene, what you're gonna see is you're gonna see more of the classic type of overlay. 
and you can see it's gonna go from the bottom to the top and it's gonna fill in that box above. So this is a great tool, one to allow you to have all chats from all platforms on stream for everybody to see at one time, but allow for all of your viewers to see what everybody else is saying so they can feel part of the conversation. Now I know some people are gonna say, Twitch doesn't want you to allow to combine chats. I say, screw that until you get in trouble with it, go ahead and do it. The main reason why they don't want you combining chats is because they can't ban or you can't control something that somebody else does on another platform. So they don't want something to happen there and you'd be like, hey, that's not my fault, it was whatever. You're still gonna get in trouble. So you can kind of do it just as long as your chat doesn't act up. Now with this, there is one thing that I will say. If you are streaming to YouTube, it does take a minute before the Botrix gets into your YouTube channel. It can take anywhere between three to five minutes, and then it will start generating your YouTube chat on screen. At first, I was like, oh man, YouTube's not working. All the other platforms are working, but because it has to create a specific chat instance, and then it has to go look for your YouTube channel, it takes a minute before Botrix connects to the channel, but as soon as it does, you're set every single time. They'll pull all of the chats all together, they'll post it on screen for you, and that's how you do it, guys. It's rather simple, it's rather easy. Um, I use Docs to see all my other chats inside of OBS. There's a million different ways you could do that. You can go and you can use uh, some of these other programs to read all your chats. To me, the best way is to have the chat separated in your doc. But like I said, this is perfect if you're trying to get the chat overlay on a specific scene, or you wanna do it multiple ways for different scenes. To all my fellow content creators and live streamers, I really, really, really hope this was helpful. I was constantly looking for a solution to try to bring everybody together. And while this isn't my normal gaming video, this isn't Destiny, this isn't Helldivers, this isn't retro games, streaming and content is something I'm very passionate about. So if there is ever a solution to a question that I have a hard time finding, I will try to bring that information to you. This isn't an information channel, but I do wanna to try to help and pass knowledge along in any way possible. If you enjoyed this content, if it was helpful, please leave a thumbs up like, leave a message below. We're on the road to monetization on this channel. Also, if you like retro games, you like a little bit of cringiness, you like gaming period, come hang out, come swing by one of the live platforms when I'm streaming, hit that subscribe button over on YouTube, hit that notification bell. Like I said, leave a comment below. Let me know if this was helpful. Let me know if there's something else you're looking for a solution for. I do respond to all comments. We wanna say everybody, thank you for your time. And if you want some other content, click on one of the videos on screen right now. But until next time, it's your boy, Old Man Sim out. Peace.